welcome to the CBN Christian United Broadcast Network. This is your main man, Troy. Here, this is CBN News. I'll let you be in contact with us at www.cbnlive.com. We got Saeed of Edini asked why the U.S. and U.N. refused to condemn our as a execution of Christians. What the heck does that title say? Saeed Abedini asks why the U.S. and U.N. refuse to condemn Iran's execution of Christians. Ha! Huh. A little confused on that title. U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon gestures as he poses for a photograph with Iran's President Hassan Rahouani during the meeting ahead of the United Nations General Assembly at the United Nations headquarters in New York, September 26, 2015. Iranian-American pastor Saeed Abedini Pastor? Oh, Abedi okay, I got it. Formerly a hostage held in, I in Iran has condemned the continued mass execution executions of prisoners in the Islamic Republican in the Islamic Republican Republic including Christians and ask why the United States the European Union and the UN are not doing anything to stop Iran Abedini posted photos of recently executed prisoners in Iran on Facebook Monday noting that one of the men put to death was a Christian by the name of Ali Asadi. Every Wednesday in a Ra Rajai Sher prison where I was for more than two years, the Islamic Republic of Iran executes tens of people by hanging them. Abedini wrote, The saddest part of this horrible, horrible story is UN, EU, EU, and US don't have any active plan to stop these executions, he added, noting that Western leaders regularly shake the hands of Iranian representatives at the conferences and continue giving them money, yet know all about the systematic executions that have been going on for years. Abedini, who spent three and a half years in an Iranian prison for his Christian faith before being released in January, said, the, said that the Iranian government might have killed Asadi's, Asadi's body, but vowed that his soul and spirit are alive forever. Christian women attend a church service in Tehran, Iran, in these undated photos, as you can see on the photos, he added that there are a number of prisoners in Iran who decide to become Christians and change their lives around, but all of them are now in great danger because of their decision. We need to pray for all of them and for the Iranian regime to change its behavior toward its people and toward Christians, he added. The pastor argued that we need to do something about it now. Tomorrow is too late when it comes to speaking out for the human rights of prisoners. He also revealed that he will be speaking at an anti-Iranian government rally on September 20th in New York. Abedini is the guy that was in prison and got released for some kind of some type of controversy money swapping thing that the United States was involved in. Abedini said that he will never forget his time in Iranian prison and how God saved him and promised to never stop fighting for these people. The U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom and other watchdog groups have ex executions carried out by the Iranian regime condemning the systematic ongoing and in 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 gregarious violations of religious freedom including prolonged detention 
tor torture and executions based primarily on inter entirely upon the religion of the accused. The UN has also said that Iran continues to ex execute prisoners without just cause. It is regrettable that the government continues to proceed with executions and for crimes that do not meet the threshold of the most serious crimes as required by the international law, especially the International Convent, the Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, to which Iran is state party, Ahmed Saheed, special reporter, <laughs> special rapporteur, rapporteur, rapport, 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 rapport Reporter on the situation of human rights in Iran said last week following reports that 12 inmates were set to be executed for drug related offenses. Back in July, during the National Council of Resistance of Iran rally in Paris, Abedini said that regardless of how grim the human rights abuses in Iran are, Faith in God assured that hope remains. My, pres my presence here proves that each act of resistance will be a victory. A victory for freedom. The message of God in the Bible says that we should resist the face of tyranny. The pastor told close to 100,000 people in attendance. We will soon see this rebellion in our country. You see? We will soon see this rebellion in our country, in our hearts, and in our world. Because Jesus Christ is bringing these messages, this message. The, res the resurrection of the Iranian people shall arrive very soon, he added. Now, you see what's going on here? Abedini was basically ab abducted. He, he knew that... They knew that he was a Christian, so he's basically his religious beliefs was he was put in jail for that, uh, tortured, and then he was supposed to die because of his religious beliefs. So, the people that was there now, the people that are there now are basically going to get killed according to the Iranian law. UN knows about it. US knows about it. Everybody knows about it. What are they going to do about it? Nothing. Why are they going to do nothing? Because they don't want to stir anything that's messed, you know, that's already messed up there. They put people in order. They put people in law and order, and they put people in power to do things to benefit other people's needs. It doesn't benefit. It doesn't benefit Christians' needs. It doesn't benefit no one else. Lower. It just does not benefit nobody but the hierarchy. Because if they wanted to do something, they could do something about it like that but they obviously don't want to do nothing about it I don't know how Abedini got back it was a weird turnaround that happened that the United States basically tried to explain on what happened and how they got it back but it just does not make any sense I mean they got money people got back home we are not supposed to be giving other countries money to get our US citizens home we are supposed to be getting them back by asking for them to come back if they don't want to come back then we go and get them back I mean that's just how we roll alright that was Saheed Abedini asked why the US and UN refuse to condemn Iran's executive I mean Iran's execution of Christians that's just messed up